So is it tougher to compete today or them? Because the way I see it is uh, it was a monopoly back then because back then it had a lot to do with who you knew. Like you had to kiss a lot of ass to move up back then. Today, it's so noisy to probably make it today's got to be it's got to be – it's a different kind of a hard. I, I, I guess yeah. the hard back then was connection. The hard today is if you're not good, you ain't going to last too long if right. you're not good. Yeah. If you're good and you put in the work, eventually the market's going to you know, pick you noise, up. Yeah, right? something's going to happen. Yeah. But well, do, but there's that cult of the amateur, right? What I like about today, actually, though, with social media is that you've got a lot of comics from all over the world, man. You got a lot of brown comics. You got killers coming out of the Middle East, killers coming out of India, killers coming out of Pakistan. My, my one of the guys who's going to open for me, who's going to do a guest spot, is from Pakistan, killer. And and th- there is a whole there is a whole artistic movement coming out of that part of the world. And they don't have to speak. They can speak Urdu. They can speak Hindu. They don't have to speak English. And they have a massive audience and they're crushing it. And then some of them are, you know, their parents went to England and they're coming in and just taking over. So it's competitive, bro. You're competing big, with the world, dude. Big time. But but going off what you said, I don't think you have to be, and this is a fact, you don't have to be really good anymore mm-hmm. because they're still going to come watch you because of the following. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I was saying that it's been tainted because they're not – dude, off of what you said, to get another one of you or Joe Rogan or or one of these big names, I, I don't see – unless they're going to come like diamond in the rough and because they're just mm-hmm. putting out you, special, uh, special – His buddy, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo Hernandez. Marcelo yeah. Hernandez, 20 – what is he, 23, 24? Yeah, 24? Oh, we saw him, right? Yeah. Young yeah, guy. Super character. talented. Hilarious yeah. character Super guy. talented yeah. and witty. I, I think – He I opens th- for uh, Tim Dillon. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah, you know, Patrick, listen, a lot of times we might be talking like old guys. You know, let me tell you something. When you get to a certain age – you get over 40, what you start doing inevitably is we go, you know, these young guys, they just don't come up the way yeah. we did. Uh, they, they're not grounded. Yeah. They don't, we, and I think that's been a phenomenon since I had a history teacher who read uh, the lament of an older man about these kids who are materialistic, don't know the meaning of hard work. It was a guy in ancient Rome talking about the youth. of, And it was, it was such an eye-opener. I went, yeah. dude, I'm falling into this trap, right? So... I think to your point, I'm glad you brought it up, is is great artists, people who are intelligent, who have an original way of looking at yeah. things that hold your attention, they'll always be there. And that's what's one, that's what's beautiful about the, stand-up. The, the idea is, the idea is, you know the, how you opened it up when you said everybody thinks they're special, but, you know, we're just regular people. And then I said to you, there are some people that think they're really special, right? So th- th- this this thing right here is yours. Right? Nobody else has got this. This is yours. This, maybe you can change it nowadays to look like whoever you want to look like because, sure. you know, advancement is solid. But this is you, right? So a kid who's coming up was like, dude, you have no idea how bad I want the world to know what I, I'm special. There's something different about me and everybody else. Dude, that energy, if it's real for that person and it's that important, the world is eventually somehow somewhere going to hear about who this guy is or this yeah. gal is. Somehow, some way, the next great ones around the corner, we have no clue who they are. I just wonder if the world you're – because I'm fascinated by comedy. My whole family, we grew up – I was one of the biggest pranksters in the Army. Some of the <laughs> pranks I've pulled till today they talk were about. Were you in the Army? I was in the Army, man. We were like – not the pranks I pulled, <laughs> 80% of them are inappropriate. I mean, someone's going to one day tell these pranks that I did, you right? You canceled for it's coming. It all it's would coming. be it's at coming. the highest level. Like if some of this stuff was, was just – which is terrible. But back then, it's just like, listen, you're, you're in the Army. You're doing what you're doing because they right. did it to you, and now you're doing it back to sure. the new guys Easy. that are coming. I grew up in a family, Middle Eastern, Armenian, Assyrian, sarcasm, jokes, shots. If you couldn't handle being a Bet David or a Bogosian, <laughs> you change your last name to something else. Bet David. It was a Bet very, Bogosian. very, Be more very, Armenian. Yeah. 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 I mean, you couldn't. <laughs> it was a difficult place to be. And then, and then that continued in high school, and then it continued in the Army where – we had a crew. So guys were like, hey, can I go party with you guys? Nashville, I want to go to Connections. I want to go to Mixed Factor. I was going, they're like, dude, I'm telling you, I don't think you can hang with us, right? And then they would come and hang and say, I was like, oh, my God, you guys are ruthless. Yeah, that's kind of how just that's Where'd how we. Where did you grow up? Yeah, I grew up in uh, L.A. I grew up you in did. Glendale. Yeah. Right, right. Grew up in Glendale, went to Glendale High School, and then, you know, went to the Army and came back. 
But you speak and fluent Armenian. I speak huh? fluent Armenian, Assyrian. fluent Assyrian, and Assyrian. fluent yeah. Farsi, That's and crazy. German. Dude. And yeah, I speak a, I speak I mean, a few I'll languages. I'll break out yeah. the Old Testament right now. <laughs> I mean, so, by the way, you know the Passion of the Christ when yeah. you watch them. We actually understand yeah. what they're saying because we speak Arabic. Arabic. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We actually, hired as a dialect yeah. coach. She it was a female. Dead dude. I I didn't have to. I'm really? Dead. You she understand all of it? You speak Assyrian yeah. 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 fluent. Yeah. yeah. By the way, he speaks better than I do. No, not at his level. No, no. Because I tell people. Lem satanet. I don't know if you can speak all of Come on. This guy is better than me. No, there's no way in the world. Guys, we don't need a race war going on right here. That's just. By the way, we're all friends here. Cursed out everybody. Exactly. I just heard the first language. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.